And that's absolutely. Do you agree? That's impossible. That is freaking impossible. Like that is absolutely impossible. And the reason Sasquatch do this stuff. So again, I was queued over here because I have Sasquatch knowledge of the Sasquatch tree breaks we we're looking at. I saw this incredible big section of trees all together from 270 degrees. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Todd Standing out here on this amazing expedition. This is the highest risk, highest reward time of year where it's cold, it can snow, but uh, when, you, when you take high risk, high reward, you get potential for excellent Sasquatch activity. We did hear the Sasquatch uh, two days ago. Uh, my colleague heard a, a profound rock or a knock sound that I believe was a Sasquatch soon after we heard the call. This is the second time I've heard this kind of a very primate sounding call off in the distance we haven't had much success since that but i want to show you this that is very interesting because there's three of those within 50 meters of one another this is what cued me to come over here this incredible debacle of trees which is absolutely amazing there are tree breaks around here i want to show you so there's three of these triangles that you just like there's that one triangle we just saw there whoops this is very impressive, especially because one of these trees goes into that triangle. <clears throat> I have to invest. I just got here, so I'm going to investigate this some more. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you this too. Where is it in the camera? See? Oh no, there it is. Right over. Why can't I see it on the camera? There it is, right there. That little triangle right there, and then there's another triangle you see that one kind of upside down triangle so a lot going on i think this is going to be really hard for me to justify this having to happen naturally when i'm literally seeing trees so this one's bent in from the uh, east this one's north it's got that tree that's west and then it's got so you have trees from 270 degrees coming into this debacle of uh, trees all kind of blended together in an area again where there's triangles I can't identify but what this looked like to me too that was also quite impressive was this looks like the same age this is old it looks like the, approximately the same age as the what how many tree breaks big tree breaks like three that we've seen three, three nice tree breaks that we've seen over here so this is an old growth forest in Kootenai National Park and uh, you know we're seeing we saw signs of bear, saw signs of bighorn sheep on this trail, specifically nice and recent. The ecology is looking, seen a lot of really cool mushrooms, even though it's late in October. And we had snow on the way in on the highway. <coughs> Lots of rain last night. The frost was really harsh. But uh, according to my experience, uh, the Sasquatch, uh, this is a time of year where right before, it's the Mardi Gras time where everything is very abundant. The berries have been abundant. The animals that they consume, like the elk and the deer and the moose, are very thick. And uh, so my my best time to get footage, and I think um, the majority of my, well, the majority of my footage that I've acquired is from this time of year. I wanted to show you this too, because actually, <laughs> it was John, and he was under that, and I went, ah, ah! He's like, what, what's wrong, what's wrong? Because, you know, I'm his guide out here. He's like, what's your problem, chill out. It was because, <laughs> I looked at this, so see this bottom of this tree? So that's broken. If you follow it up, it's actually on the outside of these trees. So the question you should be asking is, um, why is that dangling free and what's holding it in place? How did that, and that's been there for a long time. This is age there. And there's no, in fact, oh my goodness, look at this, John. Look at that. It matches. So <laughs> you're 
you want to see a smoking gun? So this is the bottom of that tree. You can see it matches that. that. How in the hell? This tree fell. <laughs> this, tree, this tree fell here. Look, it's got trees blocking it. How did that tree get over there? That is, that's impossible. Yeah, no, it's that's totally freaking impossible. This is a, this is a, this is the smoking gun I was looking for. So, and and you got to understand too, this tree, like that tree as it sits, is gonna be you know, hundred pounds. Look how long it is. Look how high up it goes. And that the roots are right here. Yeah. So, so that there was a tree right here. Yeah, that fell. Well, in between these two trees. In between those two trees and the top of it. And the top of it somehow magically ended up over here in a spot where I cannot explain. I literally think if I bash the bottom of this, it would fall. John's telling me. I think it's uh, solid. He thinks it's solid. I think, and I'm actually thinking he's probably right. <laughs> but I'm not going to try. I want that to stay. I want to see how many years. Because this tree's this tree's also been dead a while. You know what? This tree, I can tell you too. So this tree has been dead a long time. That tree's probably been dead, I would say, I'm looking at it, probably 10, 20 years. This is not 10, 20 years old. There's no way. Yeah, that has not been there. for. That's probably been there. That is maybe f 5 to 10 years old. This tree's been dead 15 to 20 years. So this tree was, and it was also broken, dead. So it was lying on this ground. You can see there's plenty of space for it to be here. So it was lying down here. Something broke this, and look at this. So it, 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 it doesn't, it's not extremely difficult to break. I just busted off the root now. I'll remember I did that. So it's not actually very difficult to break. But the question is, okay, how did it break and get up? And that's absolutely, do you agree? That's impossible. That is freaking impossible. Like that is absolutely impossible. And the reason Sasquatch do this stuff. <coughs> so again, I was queued over here because I have Sasquatch knowledge of the Sasquatch tree breaks we were looking at. I saw this incredible ashing, this big section of trees all together from 270 degrees. The triangles, can you see that? Let me zoom in. Look at that. Look at that triangle. So that's not, that's just one over the other over the other. So that's not tremendously impressive. But when you look up here at this, look at that. You understand that tree is just sitting there like even so what do you how, i'm just i'm you think i should touch this no no i want it to stay i really I want it to stay solid. <laughs> i just want it to stay i know but it, you know, I'd touch it. it's, I, but if it falls it's gonna fall right on my head <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I don't i don't want to don't want to mess mess with the Sasquatch. Yeah, and I'd like to be able to show other people because I think this is damn impressive to see in it's real crazy. life. Like it's it's freaking gorgeous, guy. What a miraculous thing to have happened. That just I would challenge anybody to come here and tell me how the hell that went to that. And even 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 forget about the way it's broken off. How the hell is it balanced there? There's no way that could fall like that. That's just, that's been placed methodically placed i can actually see how when i zoom in here on it where did it go now so it's where's the tree so the tree is i'm a little confused here give me a second the tree goes up like that so it's in that spot so now we're looking at that spot i can see a little branch it might be on but man like this this tree has gone through like that section that's been up there for a long time so that tree has been through snow load it's been through wind like we get wind in here rattling it's been through weather it's been through sun you know the, the trees are growing around it they grow up pushing on it it has not moved like, i am freaking impressed wow very very impressed by this uh and i've never seen anything like it i've never seen anything like that where a tree is just freestanding like that like that's kind of a that's a new impressive thing for me and the more I look at it, the more I can see that 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 was something intelligent did that, right? Definitely. Like very intelligently, the the little the little branch that's holding it, John. Yeah. To put that in there, you'd have to kind of wedge it and place it so nicely. You know what Along I mean? With holding it. Yeah, even that. Oh wow! Point. Look at this. Yeah. So this 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 ends <coughs> any argument 
of this having fallen into place. Look at that little freaking branch holding it. So there's there's that little branch, and there's a branch. So you see what I'm talking about? This little thing right here, look. Yeah. Uh, that little branch right there. So this was placed in there, brilliantly placed in there, and then placed under another branch, the same up there. And now it's like solidly in place with these three other trees. So it's got one, two. So it's the fourth tree of three altogether. Oh my God. How impressive is that? Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. I love this. So there's no point in looking for tracks on the ground because we're both in agreement. This is not new. This has been here a very long time. One of the, in the structure over here, you see the green tree? That's fine. That doesn't, that doesn't show that this is not old because the tree will continue to grow even after it's been placed in here. So, and even, even just so we're clear, that tree that's alive, this one that's alive at the bottom, see how it arches over this way? So it's a beautiful arch. Why in the hell did that tree bend in here? And guys, it's at the bottom of this crazy debacle of 270 degrees moving in all directions. All I see here is, oh, look, there's like a tree break over there. Look, John. Yeah. Didn't I didn't notice that. So there's also, oops, I'll zoom in without breaking my neck. There's a tree break over there too. So I bet that's that tree break looks like it's pointed west. Something else that I've noticed is uh, the Sasquatch are pointing tree breaks very in specific directions that are directly north, south, east, west, which is so freaking impressive. The vast majority of the time, unless they're pointing at the trail. So... Lots going out here. It's the it's the 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 late October expedition, one of my most exciting expeditions of the year. So I'm very excited about success. We're only we're less than halfway into this expedition, and we have ha we have heard the Sasquatch. So uh, uh, we're looking at the the best evidence we have around. I haven't been down this trail. Gosh, you know I haven't been. It, it might be it might be like I said four years. It might be more like eight years since I've been down this way. So, and to think this might be approximately eight years old, even, even to say maybe when I was down here eight years ago, that's when they put this whole piece together. So not, uh, not too far from, uh, possibilities. So having a fantastic time out here. Stay tuned. Lots more to come.